Hello everyone this is Ashish and welcome back to Talk 4712 following is an extract of the momentum podcast where i'm going to be discussing what to do if you're getting poor marks in subject wise test series i did not at that time discuss what to do if you're getting poor marks in full and test series but i'm going to be covering that after this 5 minute of extract also by the end of this video csi net student are going to be humongously benefited because there's a free revision program for the 15 days by the toppers of net examination in the past years so stick till the end of this video and you are going to be definitely benefited let us start the video so let us talk about this issue properly right now that you are getting poor marks in subject wise test series full length test series we are going to talk about it later but this uh, reminded me of that conversation because that boy was also saying that he is getting very low marks in subject wise test series like out of 25 question he is able to solve 6 7 questions and uh, number 1 he was not doing analysis after the test number 2 problem was that he was not giving the test series with proper revision and he was just using test series as practice set questions now there are a lot of problems attached to that see test series are valuable each and every test series if you are taking a test series of a good coaching institute then each and every test series is valuable for you that means that you have to live up to to utilize that value for that two things you have to do number one before you give the test your preparation should be perfect you do not half heartedly give any test just to test what level you are at all right so if you are not going to prepare very well you are going to score poorly over there that is going to dishearten you and also after the test you are not going to analyze it then you are not going to improve as well so if you are going to give a test series give it seriously with full preparation like you would be appearing in your final examination so take test series very seriously it might be a subject wise test series but still you have to take every test series seriously then only you will be developing that habit of taking every question seriously and that will reflect on the day of the examination okay so after uh, after the test series also you should be analyzing it properly and if you are able to score let us say 10% of 20% of the marks of the test series then definitely you are not at the stage where you are supposed to give test series right so the same person when i asked that have you solved engineering services previous year question the person said that no and that is pretty obvious that you are not able to solve questions that well if you have only solved the limited questions in the question bank of gate previous year questions you will not be having sufficient practice so you will need more practice from the questions that are appear that have appeared before or the questions which you are going to be solving not in limited time but you will be solving it with an ease that are engineering services previous year question if you are in core branch of engineering and that is going to give you sufficient practice another problem is that a lot of people have not co- properly completed their syllabus also they have not covered the syllabus from proper source and they are all of a sudden giving test series that is going to do only one thing that is going to dishearten you so if you want to give test series here are the checklist that should be done you should be done with all the previous year questions of gate examination if engineering services is available in your branch then you should be done with all the engineering services previous year questions of that subject also also there is a little bit difference in the syllabus of engineering services and gate but if the syllabus is matching then that will only give you more practice because gate also have one mark questions and that practice will be gained from engineering services previous year question your syllabus should be completed by a proper source So let us say some pe- some person who is teaching it online or you have joined offline classes in any scenario that person should have com- cracked competitive examinations before which you are preparing for so if you are covering from that one subject of that uh, sorry one chapter of that subject is over you will be going and solving the previous year questions of that subject and then you will be moving like that and after some time you will be completing the subject now after completing the subject you are not supposed to give subject wise test series all of a sudden so this is the problem a lot of people don't have sufficient base before they start attempting the subject wise test series so after completing the subject you have to have a one full revision of your class notes also that is something that comes under the parallel revision that i've already talked about after that set is over then you are going to get into cyclic revision and cyclic revision is having the subject wise test series if you do it like that only then you will be scoring good marks in your test series because your base base should be good and also you should be having sufficient practice of the questions that have already appeared 
otherwise other problem that is going to happen is that there is some irrelevant question available in a test series but still you won't be able to recognize that this question does not really matter so it will be a loss for you so if you're getting very low marks chances are you are making the mistakes that i've already talked about so look into it and stop giving test series right now first cover the syllabus properly first cover the previous year questions properly and then give the test series the problem is that most people want to give the test series to get that confidence or if i'm going to get very good marks in test series i can be secure that i'm going to get good marks or good rank in my final examination as well that is never going to happen so you have to complete the syllabus and give yourself proper practice and take the test series seriously so before giving the test series i've talked about these things in cyclic revision video revise it properly revise the subject properly and then only give the test series okay because this is the kind of mentality that you have to develop in your final examination you will be there prepared no hundred percent you won't be giving it like half-heartedly so that is something that you have to develop from the initial stage itself aniket pande 44 likes in this one okay moving forward all right guys so by now you know that if you're not seeing improvement or if you're scoring very low in your subject wise test series there is something wrong in your preparation and there's still time for you to work on that so step one parallel revision then only you go to cyclic revision when you are actually going to use test series for your revision if your marks is very low you need to work on that it is not going to happen that you give more and more tests and you're going to find improvements yes that is considerable that your first couple of tests you will be scoring lower than what you're capable of but if you're seeing low ranks or scores even after three four consecutive tests then you need to stop so now let us talk a little bit about full length test series so if you're seeing let us say 20 30 percent marks in your full length test series then you need to work more on completing your syllabus and there is something wrong in your strategy there's still some time for you to work on that so let us say even if you start your full length test series from january that will be sufficient the only thing is that you'll be able to give less number of tests but at least you'll be finding improvement that is also very important if you are not finding improvements then something you have to do either decrease the frequency of your tests or stop giving tests right now if you're getting like 20 30 percent marks you are not supposed to give full length test series right now so what will be the optimum number of frequency if you are at very good stage of preparation 80 percent of syllabus done by november end then you are going to give four test series in december because you are just starting with test series you are getting acquainted with that and one week will be sufficient for you to work on your weaknesses then in january what you are going to do is that you are going to increase the frequency maybe two every week maybe three every week depending on what is the improvement let us say you have worked for uh, three four full end test series and your marks has increased by 10 marks okay let us say you were scoring 50 now you're scoring 60 then you can increase the frequency right if you can do that if you have increased even more maybe 20 marks improvement then you can increase the frequency further so every day giving full length test series is only justified if you're scoring somewhere on 70 to 80 marks in your full length test series that i'm talking about gate aspirant especially in the core field of engineering civil engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering things like that otherwise you got to dial down the frequency if you're scoring very well you can go as far as giving 24 tests to in total in that case you'll be needing two different test series okay okay now let us talk about the sponsor of this video this part will only be important for science students csi net student so unacademy has sponsored this video and they have come again with a free revision program so over here previous toppers of net examination are here to teach you guys to revise some of the topics of for you guys you can see there's bunch of topic for physical sciences life sciences mathematical sciences and chemical sciences there are classes going on there are already some of the classes over i've already talked about this in one another video also so people who have watched my video earlier would already be knowing about this you do not need to sign up for all the classes whatever part you are weak in you can join the classes will be live and the classes which are over you can still go through that right so if you miss something you can go through the recorded session and there are all kind of classes present over here the educators are all qualified and also the classes will be live so you can go and put your doubts as well so they know they have appeared for these examination and now they are properly revising in a way that you can appear in these examination go over there and register it is pretty simple and i'll leave the link down in the description box so you can go and check it out it is as simple as going in notify me put your phone number and you're done classes are free so you should better take some use out of it 
that's about it guys i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye